Hi students, this is the last section of um, our chapter 8 here, working with exponential decay functions, that is 8.6. Um, our previous lesson we worked with exponential um, growth, here we're working with exponential decay. So um, working with exponential decay, it is a quantity that is decreasing exponentially that has the same percent in each unit of time. That's what exponential decay is. And so here is our formula for exponential decay. It's very similar to exponential growth. The only difference is, is when you have the one in the rate, you're subtracting with decay, whereas growth you add. So your formula here, y equals c. c again is your initial amount, which is your starting rate. Then um, we have 1 minus r in the parentheses. r is your rate. r represents your rate. You do need to change your rate to a decimal when you're solving. And then t is your, your time. So let's just look at some examples working with exponential decay. The first one here, it says from 1982 through 1997, the purchasing power of a dollar decreased by about 3.5% per year. Using 1982 as the base for comparison, what was the purchasing power of the dollar in 1997? Well, my R here is going to be the 3.5%. Again, we need to make that a decimal. So we move that decimal two places to the left to get 0 0.035. And then our T, my time, well, if 1982 is um, my starting year, and we're going all the way to 1997, from 1982 to 1997, that's going to give me, that's 12 years. So that's my time. Now for my C, my starting rate, they didn't necessarily give us a starting rate, so we'll just say our starting rate is 1. Again, we work with the formula Y equals C. 1, whoops, C, 1 minus R raised to the T power. So what we do here, let's plug in the information I just wrote down into the formula and solve. We said C was 1. Then we take 1 minus my rate. My rate was that 0 0.03, 3.5% changed into a decimal form. In my T, my time is 12 years. Now when we're solving, we do need a calculator for this. Um, first, you need to subtract 1 minus 0 0.035. And when you subtract that, you're going to get 0 0.965. And that's raised to the t power. So on your calculator, you would type in this decimal here. Then you would type in the caret top button. And then you'd type 12, and then you'd press enter and get a decimal. Then you take that answer and multiply it by 1, which would give you the same answer, which y is approximately 0 0.586. If we rounded it to the nearest um, hundredth, that's going to be y is approximately 0 0.59 and that would be your answer. So um, what was the purchasing power of the dollar in 1997? It's going to be about 59 cents because they're talking about money in this situation. Example number two, very similarly, we're just going to use our formula to solve this stuff here. It says you bought a car for $18,000. The value of the car will be less each year because of depreciation. The car depreciates, which means loses your lose value, at the rate of 12% each year. They want us to write an exponential decay model that represents the situation and then estimate the value of the car after eight years. So here we have to think of y equals c, our starting cost, 1 minus r, our rate, raised to the t power. So how would I take what's given to me? and writing it in the exponential decay model. Well, my $18,000 is my C, my 12% is my rate. So I write this as Y equals $18,000, parenthesis, one minus 
0.12, because we changed that rate to a decimal, raised to the t power. For A, it doesn't give us a specific time, whereas B, it gives us our time in, in, in eight years. So I'll plug in eight for T. So it's Y equals 18,000, one minus 0.12 raised to the eighth power. First subtract what's in the parentheses, one minus 0.12, that's gonna give you about 0 0.88 raised to the eighth power. Plug that into your calculator. You take that decimal answer and multiply it by 18,000. So you're gonna get Y is gonna be approximately, round it to the nearest cent, which is gonna be about 6,473 dollars and 42 cents. And since we're working with money, please put a dollar sign in front there. That is your answer. Don't forget your commas as well. Example number three, it says you buy a used car, so another car example here, it says you buy a used car for $7,000, the car dep depreciates at a rate of 6% per year now, find the value of the car after two years, very similarly to the last problem, so we have Y equals C, 1 minus R raised to the T power, my starting rate is $7,000, and then we're gonna have my rate is 6%, 6% becomes 0 0.06 as a decimal, so it's one minus 0 0.06 raised to the T power, that's two years. Again, I'll subtract one minus 0 0.06 to get 0 0.94 raised to the second power. And then we would multiply that by 7,000. And you're gonna get Y is gonna be approximately $6,185. If you rounded it to the nearest penny, it's gonna be in 20 cents. So $6,185 in 20 cents after about two years. So that is it for this section and we'll practice this in class.